I'm from Townsend, Massachusetts. New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm from Newton, New Hampshire. St. Louis, Missouri. Aliso Viejo, California. Roanoke, Virginia. Toccoa, Georgia. Dayton, Ohio. Charlotte, North Carolina. Cypress, Texas. Portland, Oregon. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Port Angeles, Washington State. I was diagnosed with ALS about 18 months ago. Of course, it was devastating. It's a death sentence. I was first diagnosed with PTSD when I was still in the Navy. I have had depression and anxiety since I was a teenager. My reaction was, hey, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's something special, because I was 12 years old. I figured, I'm doomed. It was relieving. Is this terminal? Am I going to see my daughter grow up? It was very dark and alone time for me. You have those moments of, why me? What did I do wrong in my life? I've had a long journey. I want people to know they can get through it. If you don't share your story, who will? Everyone's story is important. We are connected through our suffering, but we're connected through our bravery. Patients like me, that's the only place I think that's a safe place where you can say whatever's on your mind. I think that openness is the only way that any of these illnesses or diseases are ever going to get any kind of cure. The thing that I like most about patients like me is definitely the camaraderie that you can build up with people. Patients like me, I can honestly say, has probably changed just about every aspect of my life. It's given me an entirely different emotional outlook support has been the biggest thing. I feel like I need to give something back. Patients like me has given me a lot in the last five years. I just feel like that I have a message that I want to get out there. I don't believe that we go through things so that we can keep them to ourselves. And I've found that there's healing in helping others. I feel honored to be on the team of advisors. We're all actually working towards something better. Advocacy gives me life. It brings back what illness took from me. Makes you feel like you belong to something so much bigger than yourself. And I so look forward to working with this group of people to enact any change that might be for the better for anyone. I wanted to get my voice out there. I have a lot to say when it comes to illness and treatment, so I jump on the opportunity to be able to share my story. I may not be able to help to find a cure in my lifetime, but at least for the next generation, it could make a difference.